Average Dude has something to say about... Everybody, welcome back. I did have something else in mind as far as a video to do, but hey, you know what? Halloween's here, and I wanted to go ahead and uh, record this one and then upload this because, uh, once again, we have an issue of the Halloween humbugs that are constantly trying to uh, ruin the holidays for everybody else. Um, I spoke about this, I believe, two years ago with Halloween, and uh, in fact, I'll have the link down below to the video that I did at the time where I discussed the Halloween humbugs. You see, uh, when it comes to the holidays, we seem to, we have an issue with two groups of people. And I've been dealing with this idea for a long time where you have these ding-dongs on the extreme sides and they kick, 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 kick each other and everybody in the middle that are just trying to live their ordinary lives are getting kicked. And it's a joke. And you know what, I always wondered when it came to Shakespeare, when you had these two families uh, constantly going at it uh, in Fair Verona, why in the world didn't the rest of Fair Verona take these two family members and just kick the crap out of them and say, sit down, behave, stop rocking the boat or we're kicking you out. They really, those families should have been exiled, but uh, instead, what happened, and uh, Shakespeare got it right, these two will kick, 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 they'll bloody the people in the middle, and then they'll point and say, look what they did to you, you need to kick them, even though that they're the ones that actually kicked the person in the first place, they lie and say it was the other side. And so they try to recruit. And this is why these situations, everybody loses, and I'm tired of seeing this every single year. I hear the same thing from the religious right. They're constantly whining about Halloween uh, because of what it was supposedly founded on, not what it is right now, which is kind of funny, Christians, uh, because when Christmas comes around, I'm going to hear how they're so angry about how Christ has been removed from it and how Santa Claus and all that's in the picture. Um, so they're more concerned about what it's become, not what it was. Well, what was it founded on? No, 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 we don't want to focus on that. Our problem is what it is now. Basically, what these individuals, they want to have their cake and eat it too. They want to have it their way, every single way, and they're going to stop at nothing in order to take your fun away. Good, clean fun with your family. And you have on the other side of the religious right constantly whining and complaining for religious reasons. Then you have the idiots on the imbeciles on the, the uh, left, the liberal left, that their answer to the whole thing is, well, we don't want anybody to be, to feel like they're left out, and we have to feel for the minority, so we'll just get rid of it for everyone. Everybody loses. And I got news for the minorities and all the other religions that don't get the, the big, you know, like, because let's face it, Christmas is all over the place, but it, the others are also secularized. Hanukkah has largely become a gambling holiday. I kid you not. Uh, Jews go to gamble, to spin the golden dreidel, to win money. So it's not about spirituality. That Every single religious holiday has a secular, or I should say appropriate for everyone, uh, aspect to it. So I do not throw temper tantrums when it comes to Santa Claus, Rudolph, or the Easter Bunny. It, it's for everybody. That part, the secular part, is for everybody. And these ding-dongs on the extreme right and left are constantly ruining it for everybody. And Halloween has always been on the chopping block. Um, for those of you that have followed, uh, Connecticut and New Jersey, uh, those are the two states that I'm aware of, you've got uh, schools that are banning it, and it's uh, ridiculous. Think about this for a moment. I mean, you morons really need to see the forest for the trees. What is the entire purpose of holidays? Hmm? It is to unwind from the daily grind and to spend time with your family and your loved ones to get together. It's for parents to be able to get off work, take a little bit of time, 
and to spend it with their kids. For their kids to spend time with their parents. Are you kidding me? This idiotic war on Halloween. We're waging a war against parents being responsible enough to lead their children by the hand, door to door, only the places with the lights on. That's the sign that they have candy to give out. If the lights aren't on, don't go, don't bother them, don't ask. Uh, the parents are g trying to keep their kids safe, and because of the stupid nonsense from a couple decades ago, I remember this one, the scare, there was a guy that had a problem with Halloween, and he poisoned his own kids. I uh, uh, think one of them died. He did it. He was caught, and he's in jail right now for the rest of his life. And yet, I remember when that happened because every parent was worried and paranoid. They were checking uh, the candy. They wanted to make sure that there was no openings in the wrappers, uh, nothing, it, no tampering. That way, uh, no one sticks a needle, no, not even a little teeny needle type like hole because they're wondering if some sicko is, is dumping some medication or something really sick. They're trying to protect their kids, and it's the morons of the world that are ruining the good, clean fun. Parents and their children should be able to enjoy the holidays without the riffraff nonsense of the butthole brigade. The Halloween humbugs. So, everybody in New Jersey and Connecticut, give them hell. Give these jerks hell. You have rights too. And you don't need them stepping and stomping and, and throwing their little temper tantrums. You don't need the Christians whining about religion. You don't need the other minorities whining that their religions are being represented. Secularism applies to everyone. And that is what the real war is on. Not a war on religion, not even a war on atheism. It's just people that are trying to have these moments where they spend time with family. That's what's coming under fire. Who gives a crap whether Santa Claus and Rudolph are... For having, you don't have, Christians can have their nativity scenes. And the non-Christians can have Rudolph and Santa. Everybody wins. We're frosty. You don't have to worry about who's being represented and who's not being represented, but this nonsense where both extremes fight, 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 this is the result. What's happening in Connecticut and New Jersey is going to happen in other parts of the country, and it's the kids that lose every single time. And it takes real sick, disgusting, pathetic excuses of adults who enjoyed those holidays and festivities when they were young to go out of their way on a crusade to remove it from the kids of today. The kids of today, you are allowed to be upset and you are allowed to never forget. Everybody, enjoy Halloween, have fun, be safe, take care.